Yeah. You ready for lunch? I'm ready for lunch. We got her up there, guys. That's the uh, that's the gable end. The last one on this side. The last one on this side. One more to go. Now we'll just put a flat across the top of that and our center post up. Ah, and then our main ridge beam. All That's right. Exciting. All right, let's go eat. You know, we're getting ready to put up our very last wall log. And as hot as it is, we're kind of glad it's our last one. This one's hard to get up here because the porch is in the way. We're going to slide that one. At least they got lighter since they were dry. Uh -huh. <laughs> Somewhat lighter. had to put my mark on here so I didn't lose it all the rain we're having today oh <laughs> last that's just sweat last wall log got it scribed I'm gonna try to cut this one I'm gonna try to cut it up here so we don't have to put it up and down so many times I'll get my staff on a little higher Are you going to be sad to be done with those? Sad? <laughs> Are we going to have a party? <laughs> now you brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> oh, no, it's sweat. Yeah, exactly. log has a lot of character to it. How much do you think I ought to... I'm sanding the rough spot off, but I kind of like the texture, don't you? Yeah. Leave a few of the little saw marks. Yeah, I want I want to take that out. Okay. Just want to make sure we're on the same page. <laughs> I don't want to make it look like it was factory made. Right. Right. This is a log house, authentic. No factory stuff here. Bug marks in it. Peel marks. That's good marks. though. 
So that one's done. All right. You know what the hardest part of this is? What? Working out in the heat when the lake's like four miles that way. <laughs> <laughs> right. our last wall log he's got it all cut and fitted we need to insulate it but we'll have to do that later because we've got to cut the top off before we can run the wiring so he's just going to drop it into place for now and then we have to flatten the top to build our gable on did you want it Huh? I said, don't try this at home, professionals only. Right. Yeah. Get it in just a hair. That one sure fit a lot easier than the other one did, didn't it? Oh my goodness, yes. There it is. My lines, it. My lines are straight, almost. Looks pretty good. You don't want perfection. All right, she's there. Woo. It was a pretty log. Fit really nice without a lot of fuss this time. Hate to even cut the top off of it, but that's what we have to do. What happened? <laughs> I fell off the house. <laughs> how, did, how did you get that log so straight like that? <laughs> you gotta put these on like this. Oh my goodness. You did good, man. I'm proud of you. That worked good. Yes. I'm proud of you. I couldn't have done it without you. Well, it was a good team. It was a hot day, though. They have to be up there in the sun for that long. Yeah. We're going to take a break now and go into town and get some water, some groceries. Take it easy for the rest of the day, I think. Bring our figure and mines out Yeah. in the morning when it's cool. Because now we put a flat on top of that log and the back one down the two end sides. And we're ready for the big boy over there. I worked hard today, so I'm gonna really eat just a little piece of steak. <laughs> we got fresh salad out of the garden and new potatoes and Lance cooked steak. He always does a really good job. And I don't even want to do this video because I'm so hungry. Okay, <laughs> just go for it. <laughs> a cold beer or a glass of wine. What I'm doing this morning. I've already done that log over there yesterday afternoon. Yeah, I worked on Sunday. I could have helped myself. But I'm cutting a flat across this level. I measured down to the floor on each side and come up and marked it. And I got a kind of a kind of a line to follow on one side. But I'm pretty good with that, getting pretty good with that saw and I can keep it pretty level. And then this is where we lay a one by six for the base of our gable to close the gable end in. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll fire it up and get some, show you how it goes here.
Well, I'm about done. As you can see, my little steel MS-171. Good saw. I'm just freehanding this all the way down. And it's turning out really good. I'll probably touch it with a sander just a hair. But I've got it really close. Get it close this way too. Having fun doing this. But I'm gonna finish this up. And like I say, this is our gable end where we'll put a tube of six. And then on top of that, right, right about here in the center will be a, at least an eight or nine inch post around 44 inches tall and that's where our main ridge beam will set going across so we're getting close to doing that so we'll be showing you some more here in just a bit what we're doing right here now we got our flat on the wall and we're chalking a line we've got a string line and we're chalking a line across our board and then I'm going to bevel that board to where our tongue and groove will set down on it and then our trusses on top of that so that's kind of what we're doing right now so we've got a flat on all our logs as you can see so the front is level to the back I mean front and back are leveled off the sides are level to each other yeah and uh <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it probably can't see it but before we started all that, we squared it all up. Oh yeah. Okay. We had to run strings to each corner and get everything squared up good so yeah, the roof will like fit. That string right there. Yeah. And that's what the blue line is. We just hooked all that on our script bills and measured and we did the three foot down on this side and four foot on that. And so that should come out to five foot when you measure across those. I and mean, that's how we got it all squared up and it worked really good. And then once you get it close that way, you can measure yeah, diagonal diagonal across, make sure those are the same yep. both directions. And of course, make sure these are the same width apart. Yeah. That took like all morning <laughs> to get it straight. It took too long. <laughs> Little that's job. Right. We got it right, so. But as you can see from the blue line, when you're working with logs, they're not straight no so you got to have something to go by to yep. get your roof straight <clears throat> so anyway that's what we're working on right now what i'm doing here send made a a six pitch this is for the six pitch roof and i leveled this and just screwed it to my beam and the reason for this is we want that six pitch to be here and so if you set this all up like we've done and measure down to your center line that we showed you all ago and get that dimension and then come back here and run that dimension to the bottom of your truss, you can mark your line right there. And so now I'll take the saw and saw from that line to here. I'll draw me a line across. And that's how we'll get our angle so the one the tongue, tongue and groove will set down good on that. Be solid. And that's what we're doing. grinder out she has and I have to buy her a new one the switch is going bad in it that was looking good huh? it'll look better when it's power washed and gets the rest of the black off yeah just trying to get it yeah because it'll take all that black off yeah trying to get it smooth I mean not smooth but get the damaged parts off
what I'm doing, you know, while you're up here filming, make sure you don't fall on me. How am I going to fall on you? You're way over there. <laughs> don't fall off the ladder. Okay. What I'm doing, the other side is working. It didn't go as smooth as that I thought it would yesterday. I can't hear myself talking. But what I'm doing now, as you can see, I started it already down there. I'm cutting sections out and taking it and getting it perfect with my six pitch. Let me get over there. Okay. I'm setting that down in the slot and getting this perfect. As you can see the bubble and I get that straight. This is to help anybody else that runs into this. Hopefully it'll help you. Then I'm taking this screw. So you're making that wide enough for your saw blade? Uh, I'm going to, yeah. yeah. And then I'm taking my chalk box and I'm picking part of the log that's, that's good and straight that don't have a bunch of bumps in it because the bumps are going to throw your chalk line off. It did, that's what it did to me over there. And so that's why I'm doing it this way, but I'll chalk a line all the way down this to that edge and then take my saw and cut that out. And all I gotta do is feather it just a little bit with my chain and it's working really good. I anyway. knew you'd figure it out. Huh? I knew you'd figure it out. It's better than what I'm doing that I did yesterday, that's for sure. A lot faster too. You're yeah. going, you're moving along right now. Yeah, that, that took me almost all day. Yeah. And, I, and this, this looks straighter. It's 1038 and I'm almost, I'll be done here in less than an hour. Well, you didn't start early either. You helped me pull weeds for an hour or two. Right. What's the matter with me? <laughs> so you're doing really good. <laughs> I was pulling weeds, but I like pulling weeds. We were trying to find the tomato plants underneath the weeds this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it was getting grown up. But anyway, that, I hope that'll help you. If you have any other questions just ask in the comments i'll try to answer it we'll probably give you the wrong answer <laughs> okay so we're going to chalk line and like i said just make sure you don't get on a bunch of bumps that holds your line out or throws your line down up or down and you get way off on everything there we go the joys of lumpy logs. <laughs> we got lumpy logs. Kind of like the back of your head. You yeah. got a big lump on that. Cedar'd be even worse though. Cedar? Yeah, they yeah. really are lumpy. Yeah. So anyway, now I'll take my saw and go from here down to there and have that whole section out here. And I do check it. I stop and I'll go about a foot smooth it out good and make sure I'm staying on. See, I stayed above my line just a little bit on yeah. both top and bottom. And I, I feather that down to that line and it's been being dead on all the way down. So. And you notice that he's only going to the blue line on the top, yes. which is the center of the wall. It's not actually the center of this log because it yep. has a bow in it. So to keep your roof line straight, you got to go by the actual straight stuff. That's where we squared it off. Yeah. And that's where it came out, so. I'm having blackened fish for supper tonight. Yeah. I wish I had smell a vision so you could smell how good this smell. It's really hot and spicy. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese, veggies from my garden and Susan's, and white bass blackened. Best part about it is it's the easiest dinner in the world to make and so yummy. I can't wait. Hmm? I can't wait.
<laughs> I was trying to steal it from you. That's gonna work. Looks good. Now let me just go four feet of that. See what happens. A little bit more. Anyway, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go down it. I got to sand off just a little bit. I'll probably hit it with my sander. Smooth it up real nice, looking good. And it's going to work. It's really hot today and humid. We're taking a little watermelon break. That's sweet. It's a good one. Yeah, I'm not quite as sweet as you, though. <laughs> as soon as about got the house all sandy. She's up there on the ladder. Place. It's a lot of work. She is tired, but she keeps going. Let's go see where Sunday's at. She said she was almost done with the house. Sanding. Her arms are falling off. Let's look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. Eight. I told her I'd finish it, but she said no. Then I'll claim it that I did it all. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it's looking good though. It'll look better when it's power washed. What kind of batteries do you run on? I don't have any batteries right now. <laughs> I'm dead. You like the Energizer? Huh? Energizer battery? Guys, I got her done. This is the main ridge pole. You can see I've got my six pitch on there. And here's a two inch flat that we're gonna run our main board down that the uh, trusses will, our tuba sixes will come up against. But I got the whole board done. It was a job. This is a not, not straight board, but it's gonna work. That spot right there didn't touch. 
it's just barely off so I may have to uh, put just a slight shim under that three foot section there when I put my five quart my uh, tongue and groove down but it turned out pretty good now I'm going to start on that that one right over there and then that one up there and put my flat down the side to where I can put it on a six pitch when we get them up on top of the roof up there on the cabin. But it's coming along. Sunday got all the sanding done. She's in taking a little siesta right now, tired. Anyway, turning out good. Sure appreciate everybody watching and all the nice comments. Feel free to let us know if you see us doing something wrong. We don't mind at all. Y'all take care. Well, we're having a normal tree meal tonight. Got the last of the sugar snap peas from the garden. White bass. Yellow bass, I mean. Little yellow bass that we got this spring. And the first of my new potatoes in the garden. We like to do almost three meals whenever we can. Get hungry. Thank you.